Hello, Ralph McIntyre here with Astro Map Links. Well, I'm here to do another video in my video series, Pluto transiting the chart. And we're up to Pluto at this point. So we're talking about Pluto in the sky, aspecting your Pluto in your natal chart. All right, for all you new people, please click like and subscribe. Click that notification bell. And if you click notify on all videos, you get notified whenever I upload a video. I highly recommend it. Also, you'll find in the description below, there's my website, reading offerings and things like that. When you have a big Pluto trance, it's a great time to get a reading from an evolutionary astrologer that truly understands the great liberator Pluto and how to use this transit for the best. All right, T, another one of those dreaded Pluto transits. All you Pluto people, come on in. So right now in the sky, Pluto's in Capricorn. So that means Pluto is square to Pluto in Libra. Now, Depending on how fast Pluto moves through the sky, it's not a steady planet. So this transit happens anywhere between 30 and 60 years of age. And it's really kind of a coming of an adult type of a transit. It's one of those transit that kind of like before the transit, you're more of a kid. And after the transit, you're more of an adult. And I don't mean like... <clears throat> Kid and adult are terrible words. I'll probably come up with some better words as we get into it. But there's a, an understanding of the world is, I guess, what I'm really trying to under, talk about. And it's an understanding of your role in the world is really what we're really going at. Because remember, Pluto in your birth chart is your superpower. So Pluto and Libra, for all those people with Pluto and Libra, Part of your superpower is understanding relating to other people, you know, and then also a lot of your childhood wounds, a lot of the karmic wounds have to do with relating to people, you know, and then people are people, you know, it's funny, Pluto, Pluto and people go well together because people tend to invoke a lot of Plutonian stuff, you know, people sometimes can be really brutally honest and sometimes can be very deceiving and that Pluto will see through all of it. And so we're going to start by just talking a little bit about that natal Pluto and what it really means. It's like being able to see into the dark around relating to people. And so one of the things about Pluto is there's a deep soul level calling. Wherever your Pluto sits in your chart, there's a deep soul level calling for that energy in your chart. So on some levels, all these people with Pluto and Libra have a deep soul level calling for relating to other people. And this could be straight up relationship, like romantic, but it doesn't have to be. It can be friendships, it can be acquaintances. But typically, with whenever Pluto's involved, there's a, a deep connection. There's like a soul level connection. There's like a realness to it. The ability to connect in and have a heart to heart, deep soul level connection with another human being. And oftentimes this is a relationship oriented Pluto, but not for everyone. There's a lot of people with Pluto and Libra that, you know, don't have anything in their more of the relationship oriented houses and, and they're dealing with more of the feelings and the interactions without needing or wanting to be in relationship with other people. So, this is your superpower. This is kind of all the things that are keeping you from your superpower in your birth chart. And so along comes the great liberator Pluto in the sky in Capricorn, forming a square to that. And what we're talking about here is Pluto in Capricorn wants you to look at how you structure your life. You know, where, where you use structure as it relates to relating to other people and how well are you doing on that? 
Are you one of those people, you know, because Libra is about balance between my needs and your needs, you know, and, and where are you at on that? Because that liberator Pluto coming through the sky in Capricorn is like a midterm saying, hey, how are we doing? You know, wanting to kind of check in on you, check in on your progress. Are you giving too much of your power away to connect with others? Or are you not connecting with others because you're too much into your own power? You don't want to give in at all, you know, and so you don't have any intimate relationship. Because intimate relationships are a dance between self and other. It's a dance. It's a constant dance. And it has to stay fluid. You know, one of the things I like to joke about, you know, relationship, and this is more of relationship with, as in a romantic relationship, but it's the same with friends. And it's this joke of don't both people have their knickers in a knot at the same time. Because so often to have a healthy relationship, both with friends and lovers, you let, you got to let the person have room to kind of have, so to speak, a bad day get messy because we're talking Pluto. Remember, we're talking Pluto here. So we're talking messy, 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 messy. And if you've been in contact with other humans, otherwise known as monkeys, you know what I'm talking about here as it can get messy. And that's what I mean when I joke about don't have both of your knickers in a knot. You know, Martian Rose, Marshall Rosenberg, nonviolent communication talks a lot about this, the jackal and the draft ears. You know, it's like when someone's in their triggered place, it's best for you to try to stay in your compassionate place. And, you know, I say this and I know that I sometimes do really good and sometimes not so good. You know, sometimes, you know, both of us are triggered at the same time. And that's where it can, can get really messy because you say things you don't mean or, or whatnot. So the Pluto in Libra really wants you to be able to see into the underpinnings of connection with others, the underpinnings of when do I need to give in to the connection and when do I need to stay solid in myself and that dance and where is all the subconscious wounding around it. And this is where the subconscious wounding usually comes out, you know, in all Pluto signs. In all Pluto interactions, it's usually interacting with another human being that your Pluto subconscious wounds come racing out into the forefront. And this is why I often talk about with Pluto stuff, sitting in your feelings, letting go of the story. Because so often, the story of what's going on in the moment is hiding the true dread, excuse me, the true gem of that Pluto interaction. Because if you lose the story, you get to the underlying feeling. And the underlying feeling is where that Pluto can help you transform. Because if you have a reaction in your current life, you have to remember that that reaction lived in you. That other person may have been, so to speak, a catalyst as far as bringing it into the present moment, but it lives in you all the time. And it's kind of like a little hair trigger sitting around waiting for someone to stumble on it so it can go off. And this is where if you lose the story, you can sit with that underlying trigger, the feelings behind the underlying trigger. And so often this is tied into karmic wounds and early childhood trauma. And this is the case with pretty much everyone with Pluto, you know, and everyone that has a Pluto square Pluto transit, you know, pretty much most everyone has it. Like I said, it comes around somewhere between the ages of 30 and 60, give or take. And it's a super powerful transit. It's very transformative. It really kind of opens you up in another way to what's really going on and kind of gets you to grow up in a quick way, hopefully. 
It doesn't always, but it's that's what it's asking you to do is grow up. So Pluto sits here in Capricorn and wants you to kind of really look at how you structure your life, how you interact with people. How's the structure of your life interacting? Where are you not setting boundaries or where are you setting too strong of boundaries? You know, because... You know, it's interesting with relationship, you know, that balance between self and other of Libra. On some levels, it's nearly impossible to find that balance. You're either on one side of the line or the other. And usually you're way on one side of the line and then you overreact because you got pushed too far and you race all the way to the other side of the line and blow up like, ah, you know, and then you kind of go back and forth and you do the dance and, and you, you the one person triggers the other and then the other person triggers the other. it's like and then and then you're off to the races and so pluto and capricorn is like where do you need to kind of set more boundaries where do you need to take down some boundaries where are your boundaries keeping you from that deep soul level connection that you so crave you know, and so often this is childhood wounds. You know, it's funny. I was having a conversation with someone just today on a subject about a friend triggering them. And, and I was talking about how, remember, anytime you get triggered, this is a feeling that lives inside you. You know, the moment you take radical ownership of any triggering feeling, anytime you get triggered in your life, it's 100% a feeling that lives inside of you. You know, granted, it's like when someone goes and does something like smacks you upside the head with a baseball bat or, you know, something like that, you know, there's a little bit of a difference there. But I'm talking of like someone does something, a friend does something, and you just get annoyed by it. It's like, I can't deal with that anymore. And they lash out, you know, and then you get triggered by them lashing out. That's more of what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the, the kind of reoccurring triggers, you know, and the more you can let go of the story around it, sit in the feelings and get to the underlying feeling and let go of it. But here's the deal. So often, really what's happening is it's around boundaries. It's around, I can't have boundaries, otherwise I can't have connection. Or if I, if I open up to people, I get hurt. So I have closed down boundaries, you know, and these are stories that are ripe from past life and childhood, ready to be let go of, ready to be transformed. And this is where the great liberator in the sky comes around. Your friend Pluto, my friend Pluto is here to set you free from all this stuff. So all you Pluto and Libra people, as Pluto goes through Capricorn, it's going to hit all of your Plutos, light you up, so to speak, like a Christmas tree. And remember, 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 it's the ego holding on to who you think you are, what you think is right, how you think you need to react, what you think you need to be safe. And that's really what it is. It's like, what do you need to be safe in the world relating to other people? And so much of this is stories from childhood that are no longer true for you, you know? And the more you can let go of it, the more you can kind of sit with the uncomfortable feeling, the more you can not let the ego point the finger at someone else. Because that's what the ego is really good at. Look at what they did to you. Oh, my God. How'd you let them do that to you? Those are all ego voices. That's not what really is going on. That's the ego trying to keep... Pluto and Capricorn from liberating you from these childhood traumas that no longer serve you. Because remember, at the pay dirt, at the end of the tunnel, so to speak, is that deep soul level connection, both with lovers and friends. And that's what this Pluto and Capricorn is really trying to help you unlock. So you can look to your Saturn, you can look to things that are going on in your seventh and eighth house. You can look to any other aspects that are going on to that Pluto. You know, look to where your Venus is, you know. I always like to look to the ruler of Pluto. So if you have Pluto and Libra, you're looking to your Venus. Pluto and Capricorn, we're looking at, at Saturn. So you can look at where Venus is in the sky, how it's hitting your chart. You can also look to where Venus is in your chart, where you have Taurus, where you have Libra. 
what houses. All of this will help you get some information and help you understand. And this is something that I do a lot in my readings is really help people unpack the Pluto strengths and the Pluto wounds and help you kind of set yourself free, you know, from the past that no longer serves you. All right, I hope you liked this video. Please click like and subscribe and have a spectacular night.